Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my new friends, which are my crutches. You can see them. So I'm gonna be talking about how I feel about wearing crutches, why I have crutches and all of that. So if you are interested, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. Okay, so today I decided to make a video about my experience wearing my crutches thus far, um, how I feel about crutches and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. So it probably was last, well, today's, it, we're in the beginning of July. So it was like maybe the middle of June. I noticed that my right ankle, ankle was kind of swollen and I didn't really think much of it. Sometimes my feet swell depending on what type of shoes I wear, depending on what I'm doing. Um, my doctor's already looked at it before. So I really didn't think too much of it, but it started to continue to swell. And not just that, but it was like painful. And it didn't really look like it didn't look like my like a typical swelling like you know your feet may get a little bigger if you i don't know eat too much salt that day or if you wear some if you're on your feet all day and you're not wearing supportive shoes things like that your feet can hurt and they can get a little little swollen my feet have never been like really really swollen unless i'm i'm pregnant um but other than that you know my feet are typically just i guess average feet and so when I saw that the swelling wasn't going down, I didn't really panic initially. I just kept, you know, going along with it for a few weeks. And then it started to have like pain. I mean, pain, at first the pain was kind of like light. If I touched it, then it would hurt. But then the pain like really rapidly progressed into not just me being able to, you know, not just if, if someone touched it, it hurt, but it just hurt. I'll be laying in the bed and it, you know, wake myself up out of my sleep because my my, my ankle my foot was hurting really really bad um I don't want to say it's really not my it wasn't really my ankle it was the part of my foot where like if you look at your foot you know where where you're and I know you are like show me I'm not I'm not showing my foot right now I'm not <laughs> I already made my mind I was thinking like should I should I don't feel like putting lotion on my foot I, I, I didn't I put I thought I put it on good this morning but now that I'm looking I didn't and I don't feel like I don't feel like doing it so just bear with me so the part of your foot where there's supposed to be an arch at I don't have an arch in my foot at the bottom I'm very flat-footed and that's normal in my family like my dad's flat-footed my grandmother's flat-footed I mean I just have very flat feet which I never really thought too much about but if you look at where your arch is in your foot or where it's supposed to be and kind of go up like a few inches that is where it hurt it hurt really really bad and so I went to the doctor on my birthday <sighs> you all I can tell you being in the doctor on your birthday is like the last place that you want to be so I went there and they were like happy birthday you know what brings you in and I'm like yeah um about that you know my foot is uh <laughs> is swelling and it really hurts and I knew that I was going out of town the next day so I kind of wanted to make sure that you know, it just, I don't know. It just was like, Brittany, you're in pain. It's increasing. If you are going someplace, then at least you can have some medicine. At least they can look over it before you travel. And so I wasn't going anywhere that was going to, you know, I was going to be gone for weeks or anything like that. But I still just wanted to get it checked out. So I went and they told me that it's something called Pez Planus, I believe. But pretty much it's just when you don't have an arch in your foot, the weight isn't distributed correctly through your, you know, the weight from your body isn't distributed as it should be. So a lot of the weight is on that part of my foot that was hurting and swelling. And so um, they told me to take like ibuprofen and things like that. I think it was ibuprofen or Tylenol, one of those. One of, I think it was ibuprofen though to reduce the, the swelling. Um, and then she gave me crutches and I also am supposed to wear a leg brace. Now, when I got the crutches, I kind of felt shocked because I really I don't know I just when she asked me did I want them first I said no and then I said okay I'll take them just because I was in so much pain that day I'm like okay if this is going to relieve it then fine but really um I do need to start wearing more supportive shoes I do need to start wearing shoes with soles in them just so I can have more support because I just wear flat shoes all the time with no support like sandals I'll just slip them on and go or I'll just slip um what are they called I wear um 
dang, what are those shoes called? Toms. I wear Toms a lot too, and they're really flat, and I just slip them on and go. So I do need to start wearing more supportive shoes, which I'm going to start doing. But I'm like, in the meantime, I can just keep myself off of that foot. But the, the problem that I was seeing was when I was using my crutches and not walking on my right foot, my left foot kind of started feeling the same way that my right foot felt. And she explained that, well, both of your feet are flat. So if you know, you're kind of shifting the weight from one foot to the next, then you're gonna have the same, you can have the same issue. And so um, I left the, the doctor and I went to go pick up my crutches from another place. This is what they look like. Just average crutches. Ah. I'm 5'8". So the uh, original crutch, sorry, something's in my eye. The original crutch that they gave me was too short for me. So um, I had to sit there for a little bit longer while they find crutches that fit me and, and adjust it so that the crutches could sit comfortably under my arms. Um, but I, I tried, I did use the crutches for like a good one to two days. And then I started noticing that it really wasn't helping. I was just kind of switching the, I mean, my right foot felt a lot better and the swelling was going down, but then I started feeling the same in my left foot. So that's kind of what's going on where I'm at right now. I don't know if any of you have, have experienced this or if any of you have flat feet, if you do leave me comments as to what you do. Um, to you know relieve them to, to help with the problem um, she said some people even get surgery to create an arch in your foot and I'm like no I'm, I don't you know I'm praying that it doesn't get to that point where I have to go to surgery um, I don't expect that it will I'm gonna be positive and optimistic but like right now I don't feel pain um, right now the pain kind of comes and it goes um, if you like if you massage where it hurts on my foot and if i keep it up and ice it it just it feels better i'm also wearing supportive shoes so i've been trying to wear like tennis shoes more um even though i don't really like tennis shoes like that i used to that's all i used to wear but it's just more convenient for me to just put on like some sandals or some slides or them t those times like i said and just head out the door but if it's not really it's not the healthiest decision for me that I'm going to have to try to change some habits. So over the next few weeks, I am going to be looking for it's like some doctor shows. Um, I am going to be looking for different things that I can do to support my flat feet. <laughs> but I just wanted to come to you all and show you my crutches and say that, um, you know, as a, although I get a lot of questions as far as because I always wanted crutches. I always wanted crutches as a kid. I thought they were really cool. Um, and so people ask me some of the same questions that I wanted to know, you know, does it hurt wearing crutches? Um, I thought it would hurt under my armpits, but it does not hurt. It's, it, this cushion keeps it from hurting. Um, is it hard to walk with crutches? Yes, especially when I'm carrying, if I'm carrying anything, like typically I'm used to just carrying my purse. So even when I walked out of the doctor's office, the second doctor's office with my crutches, it was hard for me to carry my purse and to, you know, walk to the car with the crutches. So that's difficult so i've changed the bag that i'm wearing now to just like a bag that i can just wear on my body like an over over you know a crossbody bag um what else also i almost slipped it's not funny but i did almost slip in my kitchen because the floors were kind of slippery and i was trying to use my i was using my crutches and i almost slipped with the rubber rubber that's on the bottom of the crutch let me see if you can see Oh, I didn't know this. But he asked me how tall I was. I didn't know they had like measurements on the crutches. They have mine at 5'10". Maybe I'm, I don't know, am I taller than 5'8"? Maybe. I thought I was 5'8", though. But yeah, this, this part right here, the rubber part is kind of like what I almost slid on. Again, it's not funny because it would have been very serious if I would have slid on that. Um, What else? I feel like using crutches, it does kind of enhance or work out your upper body a little bit 
because um, if you've been watching me, I've been I've, I've mentioned in a few videos, especially in my um, my video where I was talking about me wanting to get in shape and reduce my bloating in my, my stomach. I was talking about that I wanted to become more active and do more exercises and things like that. And so I was just starting to get in the mood, the groove of exercising before I got the crutches. And so using the crutches, it really, it takes strength because I have to, manu like I have to hold my leg up. There's not like a cast holding it in place hold my leg up while I'm using the crutches and then move, you know, with my arms. And it, it seems like it's easy, but it definitely is a lot more, it's a lot more work than it looks like. Um, so I take my hats off to anyone that has used crutches, anyone that is using crutches, because it definitely takes some strength. Um, but the overall, my overall experience with them has not been horrible. It's just based on my condition because it's really not helping. It's just kind of shifting the problem onto the next leg. I'm probably not going to be wearing them anymore. I'm going to get that leg brace and I'm also going to um, look into Dr. Scholl's and better supportive shoes um, and pray and pray about it. Uh, continue to ice it, continue to massage it so that I can relieve the pain if it comes. I really have been steering away from medicine, um, especially if I don't like absolutely need it. So before I take medicine, I'm trying to look into alternative ways some of the ways that I just mentioned. So again, if you have had experience with crutches, leave it below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.